You're aboard the G.I. Joe Devilfish. Devilfish! When you run into a Cobra attack. Hi, this is Ashley Eckstein, voice of Ahsoka Tano, and thank you for listening to the Super Awesome Geek Show. Hey, hey, guys, here we have it, the G.I. Joe Devilfish. Just got this cool vehicle in. I've been hunting for one for a while. And finally, finally found a complete one in nice shape. This thing is awesome. I had this when I was a kid, and I loved this vehicle. Nice little boat that, uh, I mean, I used it. I used it so much playing with this thing. It floats in the tub. It really floats. And uh, I put it down streams, a little creek, the the ditch when it would overflow. We used to float this thing everywhere. It was so fun. You can fit three G.I. Joes in it, one in the cockpit and two on each side. And it's got four missiles, laser cannons, dual engines in the back, and torpedoes underneath. Really cool. This thing is awesome. I love it. The engines move, they can f go up and down. You're on a high speed mission in enemy waters. There's no turning back. You're aboard the G.I. Joe Devilfish. Devilfish! When you run into a Cobra attack. And to fight off Cobra, they had these four missiles on the front. You could, like I said, put a guy in the cockpit. The engine swiveled. They went up and down. There's a connector piece here that connects the engines together. That thing's often lost. The engine compartments come off. Really cool. I thought that was a really good idea that these things came off. So you can see the pistons and they can G.I. Joe can work on the engine if you wanted. And then pop this back on. There's two hoses that go from the back of the vehicle you gotta make sure those are there the foot pegs and these missiles just fly off <laughs> twin laser guns pew 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 and some torpedoes on the bottom <laughs> 1986 Hasbro G.I. Joe, do 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 do. Cobra attack! Cobra's got a new hydro slip! Cobra's an evil foe! And Cobra's new hydro slip is gonna get G.I. Joe! And I need to get a hydro sled. They also made another version for Tiger Force, for G.I. Joe Tiger Force, and uh, that is called the Tiger Fish. So you can find this boat in both color patterns, the orange or the tiger-striped tigerfish shown here. Still has the connector piece holding the engines, the engine uh, covers, and there will be four red missiles in this case. I only have two out of the four for this vehicle. And uh, I just got this in, but I threw it in the video anyways. It needs a serious cleaning. And um, I probably should have cleaned it before putting it in the video, but I wanted to just sort of show off the, the other variation of this thing. Let's pull out Tiger Force wetsuit here, and we'll put him in the vehicle so you can see how he can drive the vehicle. And we've got Tunnel Rat sitting on the side with a couple guns ready to go into action. This comes with a uh, blueprint sheet. It's pretty cool. Um, I always love these blueprints that they put for G.I. Joe vehicles and stuff. And the instructions are on the other side of the blueprint sheet. And it'll show you how to put this thing together if you get one that's apart. You know, you can. this is how you put it together. I always put my uh, instructions and, and stuff in, in a uh, magazine-sized comic bag. And I'll put a backer board in there for storage. Let's take a look at the um, the insert that came with all this. The insert shows all the G.I. Joe figures that were available at the time. 
Well, the new ones, anyways. I guess they don't show the 82, 83 ones, but they show the 85, 86 Serpentor. Pretty cool with a snake. Got some stickers there. Cool cobra emblem. The Swamp Fire. And there's the Hydra Sled. Of these, I only had the Cobra Firing Range. I never had the other two Cobra mini things. The Twins are there, and we got the Terror Drome. I wanted a Terror Drome so bad that uh, my friend Paul and I built one out of cardboard. I can't get one now, but I'd at least like to get a Fire Bat. Here's the one that Paul and I built out of cardboard. <laughs> and you could put a ship in the middle. The it had a ele working elevator and everything. So we'll go to the back here of the paperwork and uh, look at the G.I. Joe stuff. Or, or wait, we've still got a couple more Cobra vehicles. That's right. Um, let's see, we've got the Thunder Machine, the Stun. We had those as when we were kids. I had the Ferret four-wheeler, but we never had a Trouble Bubble. We had all of these, the Hydrofoil, the little night, um, night attack, whatever, boat, the, and then the Raven, the Night Raven. Now we flip it over to the G.I. Joe side. The X-30 Conquest, loved that plane. That was, that was my, oh, I loved that. I had, I loved that when I was a kid. The Battle Platform, we had that. I never, we never had a flag, but a, a friend of ours did. And that thing was huge. The recon sled. We had all this stuff. Yeah. Snowcat, the awe striker, Mr. T, or uh, Sergeant Slaughter's Triple T. Sorry. We had all these bomb disposal things in the armadillo, but we did not have the motorcycle. My brother had a Havoc. I had the tank, the mauler. But we never had a bridge layer. I got one now. I just got one a little while back. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit careful with this. There's the devilfish. It's different. It's got the missiles in the back and the peg way back there for standing on. It's totally different design than what we actually got as a toy. You can kind of see the difference there. I actually think I like the one in the picture better. I'd rather have the missiles side by side like that. I kind of like that. I had all these except for I think this. I don't think we had the sandbag thing. And then we had this weapons depot but not the tent. I don't think we had the tent. And then the tomahawk, I had that. Pretty cool. Yeah. I love getting these uh, these little instruction things. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you got a good look at the devil fish. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this one. Cool vehicle or not? Find out in Marvel Comics. Stay awesome out there, everybody, and we'll see you on the next one.